Yes, sir. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Rex Dollar. Welcome back to the Goaded My NBA series. And today we got the rookies versus sophomores game, the very anticipated game between the two great draft classes that I created. If you got Xbox Series X, I'm going to need y'all to go and download this because this is the best fictional draft class that you're going to find on the planet. On the damn planet, nigga. You heard me? But let's go to fictional draft class if y'all want to tune into that. But first, we're about to reveal the rookie class and take a look at the stats and also go to the sophomores after. Then we're going to get into the gameplay. So lock in with me. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Do all that great stuff. Share it with your friend and lock in. First person we got is, of course, Reggie Mack, the number one pick. He's averaging 24 points per game, eight rebounds, six assists, one steal, and one block a game. Just doing it all for the team. Uh, he's been handed the keys to Sacramento since <clears throat> basically day one. He's taken about 21 shots a game. So that's wild for a rookie to really do that. But the safety is all for that man. And they're in playing contention right now, the Kings. Then on the other side, we got Mo Davis, who is coming off the bench for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And Mo, him and Reggie Mack had a rivalry basically ever since high school and shit. But we all know Reggie Mack got the best of him. The Duke and Kentucky rivalry between those two. But just speaking about Mo, he's averaging 14 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal. And the percentage has gotten better as the season's gone on. 44% from the field, 38 from the three-point line, and 85 from the free throw line. And Mo is really, he's just a really good shot creator, a bucket getter, could score at all three levels. Next person we got is Jeremy Goodson, a slasher, slashing shot creator, Jeremy Goodson. Uh, great mid-range game, averaging 17 points, six rebounds, and three assists. And one steal a game on 48% from the field. Jeremy's just a bucket, man, and one of the best athletes that we have in this class. Next, we got Rich Mack. Uh, someone that's in contention for a rookie of the year. Him and Reggie Mack are the two favorites at the moment. Rich Mack is averaging 23.5 points per game, 11 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, basically 3 blocks a game of 67%. He dunks everything. The efficiency is crazy. And this man is a tank. Just look at his physical. 7'3", 320. Nigga's a monster. Next, we got Troy Mack and... Troy was another part of the max. He was the fifth pick in the drive. He's averaging 10 points a game, seven rebounds, three assists, one steal, one block. And he's not, the shooting splits is not too good, especially someone that's 7 1, shooting 44% from the field, 31 from three, and 70 from the free throw line. But he just provides so much versatility and impact and on one end, Troy Mack. And the Trailblazers have a better record this year, too, with him on the court. Austin Mack, another Mack. Austin averaging 20.6 points per game, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, and 1 steal, shooting 45, 35, and 85. This man is just a bucket getter. There's really nothing he can't do. He's just an offensive threat. He could score it at all three levels. He could dunk on you, break your, break your ankles. This man is just a bully, Austin, to be honest. 6'4", electric, electric. Next, Danny Tyler, 16 points a game, 3 rebounds, 6 assists. And one steal on 43, 41, and 78. Great pickup for the Lakers. And I think he might end up being the best shooter in the class. And he has the potential to be one of the best shooters of all time. Uh, uh, let me say pause before I say that. But the guy could stroke it. He could stroke it from downtown. Big pause on that. Then we got Rico Ryder. Rico, I think he's been... There's been games where he's been starting in games. Uh, how much games he started? All right, he started 41 out of the 55 games. Uh, been in and out of the starting lineup a little bit. Averaging 13 points per game, seven rebounds for someone that's six five, uh, three assists, and one steal, and point seven blocks. Shooting 45, 39, and 83. And Rico's just an inside out threat. Uh, really good at getting downhill, using his body. Is six six five, two twenty two frame. He could dunk on you. Good. Uh, Good jumper off two feet and can knock down threes and a pretty good shot creator. Next, we got the last Mac, Jabari Mac, averaging 18 points per game, seven rebounds, three and a half assists, 1.6 steals, and a block a game. Shooting 40, 44% from the field, 35 from three, and 82 from the line. And that Jabari Mac, he's special, man. 6'11. Bro could shoot it from anywhere, and he's just going to be lethal as years go on. And ain't much too, too much to say about Jabari Mack. That man is special. And I think this is the last guy. All right, last guy on the rookies, we got Joe Banks, averaging 11.5 points per game, seven rebounds, six assists, one steal, and one block. 
shooting 49, 32, and 69. And Joe Banks is a point forward, so versatile at 6'10". He could basically he could cover all five positions and play all five positions if he really has to. And he just has so much talent. Reminds me, he's basically Ben Simmons a 2.0 with a more willing jump shot. Shooting 32%. Ben Simmons better take notes in real life. But going on to the sophomores, the second year guys. And the first one we got up here is Caleb Taylor, who's having a breakout year after being traded from Toronto to Charlotte. He's still coming off the bench, though. Averaging 17 and a half points per game, five rebounds, four assists, and one steal on 43, 38, and 90. Caleb, that man is a shot creator and a knockdown shooter. He He's just a microwave type of player. When he's hot, that boy is hot. Reminds me a little bit of like Kevin Porter, like Malik Monk type-ish, but it looks like he's already better than both of those two, especially at this point in his career, his second year. He's hooping this year. Next one, we got Marquise Allen, who's also a part of the big three, the young big three of Scoot, Scoot Henderson and Rich Mack. He's averaging basically 20 points a game, six rebounds, four and a half assists, one steal on 46, 38, and 86. And he's basically improved roughly a little bit on everything, a little bit of the same on the rebounds and blocks. But the efficiency is improved across the board for him. And Marquise came, in, Marquise came into his draft class being one of the best scorers, but he's also playing a lot of talent around him. So the scoring isn't as high as it probably would be on a different team, but that man is a hooper out of Memphis, former number two pick. Then we got Royal Paris, one of the best uh, big man shooters that we got. He's averaging 13 points, seven rebounds, three assists a game, which is really impressive and development for him. One rebound, I not one rebound, one steal, one block on 48, 42 from the three-point line, and 82 from the free throw line. So that man is a shooter at 6'9". And next player we got is Latrell Cross, Reggie Max teammate in Sacramento. He's averaging 12, 13 points, nine rebounds, two assists, one steal, and two blocks. 7-1, really long wingspan. I don't know how long his wingspan is, but a great rim protector, averaging 2.3 blocks a game and shooting 53% from the field and has shown flashes of stretching it out, but the percentage isn't all the way there yet at 30% from three, but he's shooting 80% from the free throw line. So I believe as time goes on, he's definitely going to develop a jump shot. And he's already a great lob threat and presence in the paint. Then we got Kayvon Kabongo. He's averaging up his numbers to 20 points per game, 7 rebounds, 2.5 assists, 1 steal, and 1 block. Shooting 43% from the field. 3-point is down this year, shooting 31% and 77 from the free throw line. But I think he might have improved it as time has gone on. Let's look at the past couple months real quick. I know he was shooting terrible. All right, yeah, here we go. He was shooting terrible to start off the season. But he had a two-month stretch where he was shooting 38, 34, 33. So, oh, my God. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad, Kayvon. But Kayvon, he's a hooper at 6'10", another shot creator, and likes to really operate out the – get to the mid-range, operate out of the high post, and just ISO from there. And that boy is tough. Oopsie. Now we got Ricky Cruz. Ricky Cruz is coming off a torn ACL, I think. Uh, some injury that he had like, in his rookie year, but he came back even better. Averaging 21 points per game, four and a half uh, rebounds, and 9.6 assists, basically 10 assists a game, and one steal. He's also part of the Trailblazers squad that has a really good team and impressive team. Former number one pick, Ricky Cruz could do it all at the point guard spot. 6'2", really good athlete, very smooth and acrobatic. Uh, also shooting 45, 36, and 89. So the man is efficient, Ricky Cruz. And he's also a contender for winning MVP in this game. Now we got Tyree Smith, backcourt teammate, K. Cunningham, averaging 18 points, five rebounds, six assists, one steal, shooting 47, 34, and 79. And Tyree Smith is just a really good combo guard, a 6'5", very smooth, reminds me a little bit like Shea Alexander. The way he sold, he's just like silky smooth and is basically, he's he's like, he has slithery, slithery finisher on Hall of Fame. Like, that's the type of smoothness that he has, too. Uh, next, we got Mario Ellington, another another great shooter at at the power forward spot. 6'11", averaging 11 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, and 1.6 blocks. The I don't think he has gotten uh, as much attempts that he got in his rookie year due to the other players that they added on the other team. 
but I feel like he should definitely be more featured in the offense. He's shooting 45 and 40 from the three-point line and 80 from the free throw line, and his minutes went down a little bit, so you could tell from that. But Marlon Ellington is a special talent. He didn't go number four for no reason, but I think he just needs more opportunity. Next, we got Josh Bridges, and he's been in and out of starting lineups. I'm interested to see how much games he started. He only started 10 games because they had Moses Moody starting at the, at the three. So Josh Bridges averaging 15 points off the bench, uh, five rebounds, four assists, and basically wants to do one block if you want to round that up, and shooting 49, 37, and 76. So with him getting more attempts, just look at his per 36 numbers. He is a hooper, and I think they might have to insert him to the starting lineup depending on how Moses Moody is doing. But he could just do it all on the court. And they're a really good athlete at 6'5", and a Kentucky player. Now we got probably the best sophomore and statistically probably one of the best players that we have in this game. Jimbo Jackson is taking a monster leap. He is seven foot, 275, just a straight um, an animal. Manimal, whatever you want to call it. We about to take that nickname from Kenneth Kenneth Reed. He ain't no damn animal. He he I. But Jimbo Jackson, that nigga's a man child, whatever the hell you want to call him. Averaging 24 points per game, 13 rebounds, two assists, one steal, and two blocks a game. Showing 60% from the field and 70 from the free throw line. And that boy is a tank, and it's going to be an interesting matchup between him and Rich Mack. But without further ado, we about to get into this game because I wasted a little bit of time, but it's all right. Just wanted to recap everything. But now we about to get into the gameplay. All right, we are ready. We are here. Game is in Los Angeles in the Staples Center, no crypto arena. And the sophomores control the tip, and we are ready to go. Marquise Allen has the ball starting off against Reggie Mack. And Kayvon sets the screen and a little step back right at the block. And he is old in his follow through and he's feeling himself to start off the game early. But Reggie Mack, he saw that and you know, you know what time it is. He's going straight to the basket and finishes and get his bucket back. Both of these teams want to get this victory just for the sake of bragging rights. And a great crossover, but a great recovery by Reggie Mack getting that block. And now Jabari Mack is out on this fast break right here. Snatch back. Kayvon, where are you going? Somebody get him a map. And the jumper is cash for Jabari Mack. I'm telling you, he could score at all three levels. And now we got Austin Mack going downhill, but with a bad pass. And now Royal Paris is all by himself getting a breakaway dunk. And it's a four to five lead. And now Reggie Mack has the ball. Looks like he's trying to go to work. And a step back, major step back. That shit is me. That is me, Reggie Mack. And now, mm, <laughs> he got he got Marquise Allen doing a cha-cha slide out here. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. And he dunks it home. And now Rich Mack gets caught slipping and sleeping. And Jimbo Jackson finishes the alley-oop slam right there. But now Rich Mack gets in the post. And he trying to bully. He moving him. He moving, he moving Jimbo, and he puts him in the rim. There is nothing Jimbo could do about it. He is seven foot, two seventy five, but it ain't enough when Rich Mack is seven three, three twenty. That man is a monster. Created in a lab, and now we got Austin Mack just breaking down Ricky Cruz. Now, quick step back, mm, knock down, hold that, hold that. Both of these teams are going right at each other, and I'm loving it. The competitive intensity that we have in this rookie sophomores game is unlike any other. And a great smooth finish by Ricky Cruz, getting his way to the basket and finishing with the left-hand layup. And now Austin Mack just being a maestro out of the pick and roll and feeding Rich Mack, and Rich Mack finishes with a reverse slam. Austin Mack's patience in a pick and roll game is really elite, and his handles. That nigga got that shit on a rope. And now we got Mo Davis coming off a pin down screen, and he knocks it down. That's where he's at his best, coming off screens and finishing. And a lob from Troy Mack to Jabari Mack. He couldn't finish it home. And now that leads to a fast break. And Tyree Smith in the corner, knocks it down, turns around, doing the Steph Curry, the Chef Curry before the ball goes in. And that's a great pass. Great pass by Ricky Cruz. Probably the best passer that we have in this on the court right now. Passing to Royal Paris, knocking down the three. And now Reggie Mack going behind the back, driving to the basket. And just doing his thing, getting his way to the basket. Really unstoppable when he's just getting downhill. And now Kayvon coming off a screen, pulls up, gets fouled, and one. And they're up by three, and he's talking his talk. Count that. Now Danny Tyler checks into the game, and you, he comes off the pin down, showing everybody how it is. You got to step up. You got to step up on him. 
knocks down that three. Great steal by Troy Mack using all his seven, eight wingspan. And Danny Tyler pulls up in transition and knocks it down. And he's starting to feel it to start off this game right now. Now we got Jeremy Goodson looking to get his. Step back at the elbow, knocks it down, and everybody's getting to it right now. Great first quarter, high scoring first quarter. And Mo Davis gets his shit sent to his teammate. Mario Ellington sends that shit right to Troy Mack, and he knocks down the bucket. Uh, teammate on teammate crime right there. And now we got Ricky Cruz breaking down. Danny Tyler stepping back, knocking it down right in his face. Now Josh Bridges goes pick and pop to Mario Ellington, and he knocks it down for three. They got shooters on that squad. And Mo Davis with the step back three. He doesn't get it to go. Troy Mack with the kick out to Danny Tyler, and I told you. That's a shooter right there. And now Ricky Cruz trying to go another step back, but Rich Mack using his length to contest that. And Mario Ellington kicks it out to Marquise Allen at a quick release by him, and he knocks down the three. And now Rich Mack is getting double teamed, but it doesn't matter. He over here pump faking, but he just puts it on two defenders. And now an ISO situation right here from Marquise Allen. He goes spin move and knocks it down. The shot creation by him is really elite. Elite, one of the elite shot creators that we have in the game right now. And speaking about that, that is Reggie Mack. That applies to him too, with a nice little side step, getting the bucket to go. And Ricky Cruz in pick and roll to a trail cross, and he feeds him going downhill, and he slams it home. Damn, I'm trying to think who's better in pick and roll, Austin Mack or Ricky Cruz. And a, mm, a monster slam. Ricky Cruz showing off his athleticism and bounce off two feet, slamming it home, getting Rich Mack and Reggie Mack in a poster. Say cheese. Now Tyrese, Tyree Smith trying to break down his defender, but he swings it to Caleb Taylor. And Caleb Taylor with the step back right over Reggie Mack, and he knocks it down. Then they at you like that, Reggie? That is tough. And Marquise Allen goes right at Rico Rada before the shot clock runs out. And we're heading into halftime, 68-66 to 66 game. And we're about to take a look at some of the highlights, a smooth little pull-up right there from Marquise Allen. Uh, nice little finish right here for Latrell, Danny Tyler. Basically, everybody that's in the game is contributing. And it's going to be a great, a great second half. We're going to take a look at some of the guys that have shined so far in the first half. And Danny Tyler for the rookies and Rico, Ricky Cruz for the sophomores. And now we back in the second half action. And it feeds Joe Banks in the post right there, getting the two-handed slam. And I'm telling you, he could, he could basically play all positions in that post up. And a steal by Reggie Mack all by himself. And he's going behind the back with the slam. We got to get this man in the dunk contest. He better not pull a LeBron on us. Because the dunks that we've seen so far from Reggie Mack is really ridiculous. Not just in the game, but previous games that we have seen from him. He's just absolutely ridiculous. And Kayvon Kabongo just stepped back in and rising over Jabari Mack. And that's that's 6'10 on 6'11 right there. Now Austin Mack just doing what he does, getting his way to the basket. He could basically get to any spot he wants just with his handles. And Ricky Cruz, oh my God, that is Ja S right there. About to rise to the slam, but switching it with a nice little smooth finger roll right there. That is beautiful. And a nice feed to Jimbo Jackson, and he, he punches it home. Now we got Rico Ryder. They got a double screen on the other side for Danny Tyler. He comes off the double screen, and he lets it go. Quick release for Danny Tyler. And... I'm telling you, man, you got to be aware of him at all times. Now we got Jeremy Goodson going downhill and yams it right over Latrell Cross, the rim protector. We got to see the replay again. Oh, my God. Body bag that man. Man, put him in the rim. And now we got Jabari Mack doing his thing, his thug dizzle. It's the fourth quarter, so the target score is up to 117. And it's time. It's time. Now we got Tyree Smith getting past Reggie Mack, but get that shit out of here. And look, Jimbo Jackson has a nose for the ball as he does and puts it home for the finish. Now they get Jeremy Goodson, and he's looking to go to work on Jimbo, but he swings, switches it, uh, swings it to Reggie Mack, and he lets it fly from downtown. He's shooting 30% on the season, but he could definitely knock it down. But now J Jeremy Goodson with a nice little shimmy right over the little Ricky Cruz and knocks it down like there's no defender over there. 
and Ricky Cruz with a great alley -oop, pinpoint alley -oop to Jimbo Jackson. And there's a lot of action going on right now. Austin, not Austin Mack. Ricky Cruz with a great pass, but get that shit out of here. He volleyball spiked that hoe. Troy Mack, great rim protector. And now it's a pick and roll. Austin between Troy and he, Troy finishes with a two-handed slam. He already has 10 rebounds, needs two points for a double-double. Ricky Cruz wide open on the perimeter, and he knocks it home for three to take the lead. Now Ricky Cruz losing Jabari Mack, and he's trying to win the MVP. He's trying to win this game and will the team to victory right now. He's doing everything for the squad. And now we got Marquise Allen with a nice little sidestep to tie the game back up, and they call a timeout. Now it's a 107 game, and this is a great matchup right here. Reggie Mack doing his dance, <laughs> doing his dance, and knocks it down to Tough Bucket. Tough bucket right there. The handles by Reggie Mack at 6'9 is really ridiculous. And a step back, one-legged shot by Danny Tyler. That's becoming his signature right there. And now we got Austin Mack in the ISO situation, going behind the back. And now he spins at the free throw line, losing Marquise Allen, and he can't keep up. And that's a bucket right there. They need four more points to win. And this is a big play. They need a bucket right here. They swing it to Marquise Allen, and Caleb Taylor pops out for three to tie, up, tie the game. 113 apiece. Now Rich Mack has it in a post, and he gets uh, Latrell Cross jumping, and he just rises right over the top of him. I don't know how he got that to go, but he finishes. Rich Mack, it's a two-point game. They have game point right now, and the sophomores need a bucket. Who are they going to go to? They give it to Marquise Allen, and he has a side all by himself. He could go to work in the ISO, but Austin Mack is sticking with him. That is great defense and great hands by Danny Tyler. And both both players are getting in there. They got the steal, and Reggie Mack is wide open in the corner, and he pulls it out right now. They have game point. He is calling for the ISO, and you know what time it is. Dance with me. Dance with me. Dance with me. Snatch back for the game. Knock down. Reggie Mack call it game. It's over. The rookies get their bragging rights, and win the game, led by Reggie Mack, and we got to see this ISO situation. Dance with me. Come to the dance floor. My God, the separation that he created. We got to see a different angle from this. He was just playing with them. <laughs> he was just playing with them. Oh, my God. The shot creation by Reggie Mack is really different. Nigga, I can't even keep up with the moves and commentate it. I just got y'all just gotta see it. Y'all gotta see it for yourselves. I can't even like say anything about it. Reggie Mack is elite and the rookies win. And we probably all know who's about to be the MVP of this game, man. Great showcase for all the talent that is on the court. And this is the future of the league. This is why this is a goaded mind BA. Cause these players right here are just gonna define a new era of basketball. We had the Bill Russell era, the Larry Bird and Magic, the Jordan era, the Shaq and Kobe, the LeBron era, Golden State era for a little bit. But now we got the Golden era. So much talent on display. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Because y'all just y'all just witness history right now. Special. Special. You might be seeing... All these players might be Hall of Famers. But Austin Mack and Reggie Mack led the way in scoring with 23 apiece. But Reggie Mack closed the game out and also had a couple of big stops. And y'all could take a look at the stats. It's your boy Reg Dollar. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. And be golden.